I bought Walmart's most expensive air rifle for $900. I'm gonna test it and see how good the accuracy is then take it out for a whole bunch of hunting. So let's go ahead and unbox this and see what we got here. Does come with some foam, bubble wrap, Boom, $900 air rifle from Walmart. It's a PCP. Let's see what came in this little mystery box. If I can get it open. We got a magazine, a fill probe that didn't come with O-rings on it, and a bunch of O-rings. Side lever cocking. I'm gonna dry fire at one time, even though that's how I broke the air rifle in my last video. Let's test the trigger out. First stage. Okay, that is a pretty good trigger. I'm happy with that. So I went home and cleaned the barrel, got it filled up to 250 bar, put a scope and a bipod on here. Okay, first shot with these pellets, I'm gonna shoot it through the chronograph. Whoa, 941 feet per second. I just went through my truck door. It's time to test accuracy. This could determine whether I can even hunt with this gun or not. So I got three types of pellets right here and a box set out over there 25 yards away. And whichever one of these pellets does the best, we're gonna be hunting with. First up is these air arm pellets. Take five shots through the scope cam, see how they do. Next up is the hats and pellets. I haven't had very good luck with these, so I don't really know what to expect. And last ones are these Benjamins. These are the heaviest pellets. Okay, let's go check out the groups. These actually did almost all the same. I don't really think it'll matter which pellet I choose because they all shot the same, but I'm going to go with the Benjamin pellets because these are a heavier pellet. It'll probably carry more energy and be better for hunting, so. The first thing we're gonna try to hunt is some squirrels. Okay, let's go and get this thing loaded up. And into the woods we go. It is super windy out today, well, at least it was. So I don't know if the squirrels are gonna be out at all today, but I guess we'll find out. I see one way down there, about 100 yards away. There he is, there he is, there he is. He's right there, there he is. Oh, he just went in a hole. Oh my goodness. I just looked over here. There's a squirrel right there. He's like 30 yards away. He doesn't even see me. Okay, here we go. One for the shot. I just missed that. Okay, what the heck? How did I miss that? It was like the easiest shot. I'm telling you, hats and air rifles are just absolute garbage. Even if you spend a thousand dollars like I did on this one, they're still like just unreliable. But I did shoot at a tree and kind of zeroed my scope back in, so we should be dead on now. There's two up in that tree right now. There he is. He got in a hole, climbing away. I spent about 15 minutes waiting for one of the squirrels to come out, but a different one ended up coming out about 40 yards away. Oh, I could almost get that. I probably could. If he stays there, I'll go for it. I got him. Nope. I hit him. There he goes. He's done. He just fell. Okay, I got a squirrel. Finally. That wasn't an ideal way to kill a squirrel. The wind must have been blowing pretty good. Because I held where I was supposed to, I thought. But there he is. He didn't go anywhere. The first shot went through the nose. Second shot went straight through the chest. Perfect shot. Lucky I got a follow-up shot on him or else he would have been wounded. That would have been terrible. Good thing I got him down. I think for squirrels, I'm going to try to keep my shots within about 35 yards. Because I don't want to be going around wounding any animals. That was probably over 40 yards, but there was no wind out and it was just a little red squirrel. So if I hit it anywhere in the body, it was going down with this 25 cal. There's no way he's getting away. Fell from that branch. Should be right here somewhere. There he is. Looks like I got him right there in the neck. These things really aren't that good to eat because they're like the size of a rat, but they're so annoying while I'm deer hunting. They're always barking at me and making tons of noise and they're probably spooking the deer away. So I decided to shoot one. Okay, so now I'm in Walmart and I'm going to be buying the most expensive air rifle that's like in the actual store and we'll test it out and go hunting with that. But later in the video, I will be taking that $900 rifle out and actually going raccoon hunting with that. Okay, so here's the air rifles. I'm seeing, okay, there's a $200 one right there. There's this one down here. I have no idea how much it is. Okay, I just looked up how much that one is online and it's $169. So it looks like their most expensive one is this Gamo for $198. The Swarm 10 shot magazine, 177 cal. So I'm gonna get this and I might as well just buy their most expensive pellets for the most expensive air rifle. So let's see what we got here. Gold looking ones for $12. Anything more expensive than that? Some $15 ones. I'm getting those two. We'll just get a bunch of pellets. So we got these two. And let's go with some Crossman Premiers. Those are always pretty good. So I'll try these out too. Alright guys, we got the stuff. See you tomorrow. And we'll test this stuff out. It has been a while since I've done anything with a 177 pellet gun. We got a scope. 
and the air rifle. Check it out. Walmart's most expensive air rifle. That was in the store. Unlike the expensive rifle, this one did come with a scope and it's actually pretty clear too. On the box, it says this shoots 1300 feet per second with the super light alloy pellets. But here's the pellets I got. 7.9 grains, 10.6 grains, and 10.5 grains. These two are really heavy. This one's kind of normal weight. I'll shoot them through the chronograph and see how they do. Now it's time to test accuracy. 20 yards away, I got three targets on that grain bin. As you remember, we got those three types of pellets. Let's find out which one shoots the best and then we'll go hunting. First up is the Crossbin Premiers. Now let's try those heavy copper pellets. And these are those $15 Gamma ones, the most expensive ones I could find. Sorry for the blurry scope cam footage. I was only shooting on three power. It's much more clear at nine power, which I didn't know till after I shot those groups. But here's our results. I actually shot 10 shot groups because for five shots, I couldn't really tell which pellet to choose. Crossbin Premier's pretty good. Those copper crossbin ones, about the same. The heavy gamma ones, we only had a couple that hit the actual paper, but they did have a really nice group down here. So I'm at the barns today. We're gonna to be going bird hunting with the air rifle. I chose the Crossbin Premier pellets because they're just a little more consistent than the other other ones, less flyers, so I actually see some sparrows over there. I'll try to sneak over there and get some. I think I got him. Check it out, we got him. First sparrow with the pellet gun. Ah, missed him. All the sparrows just flew back in there. I'm gonna try to track them down and maybe we could even find a rabbit or squirrel too. I see a squirrel in this tree. It's right there. Try to sneak over there and take a shot. Come on, squirrel, move. I need to get him to come out of that hole. Oh, here we go. Body shot. Oh, crap. He's coming down. Hit him. I hit him. Oh, he's down right there. All right, we got us a squirrel. I'm actually surprised this little 177 put him down that fast with a body shot. That's pretty crazy. He only made it about 15 feet from the trees right there. He did not make it very far at all. Got him right there in the shoulder. Probably a perfect heart shot. It didn't exit though. I can actually feel the pellet right here beneath the skin. Ow, goodness sakes. He's a squirrel I shot. I always do this with barbecue sauce, but I'm just gonna try drenching this thing in hot sauce. Thing wrapped up and then we'll throw it in the fire. I'm gonna throw this right down in the coals. Try to cover him up a little bit so I don't have to flip it. Probably take about 10 to 15 minutes to cook. I'm guessing the squirrel's about done. Well, it should be done. Hopefully it's done. Oh man, that looks pretty good to me. Nice looking squirrel leg. This actually gotta be one of the best squirrels I've had in a long time. I'll see you guys for the coon hunting. Okay guys, it is nighttime, as you can probably tell. So we are gonna be going raccoon hunting with the air rifle from Walmart. Check it out, got a light on top of it, looks super cool. Okay, so the plan is to walk around the fields with this call and play some coon fighting noises, shine lights up in the trees, look for glowing eyes, and hopefully we can find some raccoons and then just walk up to them and blast them between the eyes with the uh, pellet gun. Okay, let's get the call on, play some coon fight. There we go. And now I'm just gonna walk around the fields with this call. Hopefully we can find some raccoons. Literally just started and there's a coon right there. Saw that one from the truck right when I got out. He's actually in a den right now, but I think I'll still be able to get him. Can you see him right there? He's like halfway in a hole. He's hiding his head. I don't know if I'll be able to get him out though. Okay, he's not gonna come out, but I learned this from another coon hunter. What you have to do in this situation is just shoot him in the body and they should come running out and then put a follow-up shot in him. So here we go. Well, that didn't work. Oh, he's dead. Well, that actually killed the raccoon. So he could actually go down the tree right there. He fell down and he's laying right there. I'm not gonna be able to get him now, but he's dead. Well, that's good. At least I didn't just wound him. Okay, next spot. I just parked my truck over there and there's two right here, right away. I can only see one right now. See his eye right there shining back at me? He is in a den, but I don't think it's a very big den. So if I shoot him, I think he's either gonna fall out or if he doesn't, I can climb up the tree and get him. It's a pretty easy tree to climb, so I'm gonna take the shot. Probably 22 yards away. I can only see one eye. Now he's dead. No. What the heck? He's gonna drop now because I long shot him. 
Raccoons are so tough. What in the world? There he goes. Well, at least I don't have to climb up that tree to find that raccoon. It's crazy because sometimes you can shoot raccoons one time in the body and they're dead in like five seconds. Other times it takes like five shots. I have to try to find them. Kind of scary because like what if this other raccoon jumps out at me? So I know there was two. Alrighty, I found them. Big female raccoon. Let's keep hunting, see if we can get any more raccoons. Okay, next spot here. I know there's at least two raccoons in this tree. I can only see one of them right now. Right there in the Y of that tree, just sitting right there. Put you on the GoPro and we'll take the shot. Okay, he's about 25 yards up in that tree. Oh yeah, that was right where I was aiming. And there it is. Finally, a coon that didn't almost get away. Very successful night tonight. Make sure to subscribe if you like hunting and click one of these videos for my second channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.